HP Rad front end block making. The last time we were able to make our tables and in this tutorials in this tutorial or lesson <coughs> we are coming to start making our nav bar. First and foremost we would like to change the color. I like using white. If you can like you can switch a theme here of which I just want basic things. Preview it. Secondly, we like to remove some content here because we don't want our users to be seeing all this thing. What they need is the article or probably a home button. So we remove this guys. Alright. Another thing we want to do is we want to move this content to the right side because this left side is where we are going to house our navigation bar not I mean where we are going to house our search bar um, you might have seen a search bar on top of a nav something like Udemy they have search bar inside their navigation bar so we want to do the same and most of the time is located on the left side not on the right side so as you can see um, PHP Rad has given us options top bar left and that's where we have our content and top bar right there is nothing there we want to move our content to the right so inside this left we want to put our search bar there so we add a content though we are going to leave the content empty all right and i think with this we are okay preview it to see how it looks like all right good another thing at this point we want to do something we want to add some we want to uh, we want to you can create this thing style we want to do something no shadow no shadow comma and no shadow on hover at hover comma then no shadow on focus box shadow zero 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 RGB zero 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 all right this thing this is um, um very uh, important CSS style we need before we proceed to the next level this is a class i named you can name it anything but as for the ending i mean as for the suffix they are very very important so you, you don't you can name anything you want here just write make sure you wrote you write what i wrote okay or you type what i typed here all right so having said that we move to our form is it important mm, i think it's not important let's do the necessary ones action Let me explain something. This is our form. We want it to take its effect on this place. What's the name of the place? We name it. Um, we want it to get something from article. Remember, there is one of our page called articles. So we want it to get something from that articles. Then, how? What? How is it going to interact? We want it to get. 
so if we made it a post then it's going to get uh, copy whatever we have in our form and post it inside there but we don't want it to post we want it to get all right and we'll move down here this is impute group therefore we want to group anything inside here then we want it to have a padding of two and we want it to have a border of course our search should have a border and we want the edges of our border to be curved that's why i added rounded so let's start with the impute class form group form control this is actually um bootstrap uh bootstrap class I think we'll, all right good at this point i want you to add this class which says no shadow i will explain to you why but or let's not add it so that you see the reason why you need to add it so placeholder placeholder to be equals to search we want to label it search then the name the name of our impute we want to call it search as well and the type is type um test we are actually going to test something inside it it's not a select something it's test and then the next thing is the value value we want um php to echo the value of search echo get value 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 of value of search value of search and auto complete we want to off it most of the time i forgot to do this then once you are done you move to where you place your icon php class div class um Impute group append append all right icon i class icon magnifier let's see how it's going to look like all right you can see um you can see our border here but there is a border inside the border we don't want it so we come here and we will say border to be zero i did this style uh, class then this is impute class so You can see the border is off good let me give this guy a background of remove, remove remove this background so that you notice what i'm talking about when we type inside there is a shadow when typing something we don't want that shadow you know is it isn't nice it isn't no, we want to have something like a single layer want to have a single layer okay shadow all right so you see when typing there's nothing like um all right good magnifier no mag magnifier all right our icon is there and when typing there isn't any shadow it's just a plain something good the next thing we want to do is we want to put this content or this search bar here we want to place it here i'll just show you how to do the magic But before that, we want to remove all line breaks. 
Oh, before we remove all line breaks, I want you to style this guy. Style. Or you can name it. Let's name it. Um, uh, front end. Front. Um, FT and search. FT and search. Okay. We have named it that. So we we'll close all line breaks. Good. <sighs> all right. So we we'll start with JavaScript. We we'll start with a script here. HTML content. We want to render um, this guy to this guy, and the guy is the guy's name is actually is a class actually. Um, the name is um, Nav Bar Nav. Please type what I'm doing. M R Auto then you cut this guy X, and you place it but please make sure you close all the line make sure you close all line breaks something like this make sure you don't have it just close it it should be closed end to end like this the way they are end to end there's no space or you can have a space but you can't have a line break all right so we cut this thing and we we'll paste it here. I say alright. As you can see, it is on top. Good. So want to increase the width. Want it to be a bit lengthy. Remember, we called it. Uh, we gave it this name, FT and search. So we can copy it and you know. Dot V. And wait, wait to be 600 pixel. 600 pixel preview. You know, it's now a bit long, longer. Uh, before we close this class, we want to have a border on top as well. So we can come here. Is it necessary to do it here? It's not. I think we are. We can do it somewhere X X Control Z X we want to move this thing to our custom CSS. Okay, come to custom CSS, place it here. Good. It's working, no shadow is still working. But we want to have a line here, you know, that we separate um a line that will separate our uh, our navbar from the page content. We can do that with CSS. I think yeah, it's good to do it with CSS. Um, going CSS way. I'm coming. Okay, we call the class. The class is navbar. Navbar. And we say border, border to be solid, solid. Then border with border color to be RG, RGBA, zero, 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 zero. Two, three, four, five. Then the top of it is zero, the right of it is zero, the bottom will be one pixel, the left is also zero.
so you can see we have our line stripe line um, we can remove this content or if you like you leave it just make it p3 and mb3 thank you so much i'll catch you guys in the next lesson